Hi Aries, it's Ellie and welcome to your reading. So we're going to look at your energies for the next three months. This could be about love, career, work, family, ambitions. Take it how it resonates, okay? So let's start. Thank you so much, my spirits, angels, and guides. Please tell me what is coming towards my beautiful Aries for the next three months. Please show me the cards that I need to see and please show me the messages clearly. So just a reminder, this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Make sure that you watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus to get a complete picture of what is coming towards you for the next three months. My gosh. 2021 is ending. Thank you so much to everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I'm so grateful to each and every one of you. Thank you for supporting me and growing and my journey here on YouTube. Um, if you haven't, if you haven't um, subscribed to my channel, I invite you to. Um, yeah, all the readings on my channel are free. Okay. What is happening? Aries, your overall energy, overall theme for the next three months is the magician, all right? Trying to manifest what you want to manifest. What is coming towards you for October is the Fool. For November is the Page of Pentacles. And then for December, it's the Moon. Your challenge row. You have the Two of Swords. You have the Devil. And then you have the Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. Spirit's Advice. You have the Three of Cups. The sun and then the world. The overall outcome you have the ace of cups, it's nice. The queen of swords and then the two of pentacles. All right, Aries, your, your overall theme for the next three months is the magician. So it's about manifesting, all right? Manifestations coming in, trying to manifest what you want, um, setting your intentions and just receiving all the things that you have tried to manifest, all right? Um, what is coming towards you for October is the fool. So definitely new starts. Um, I do feel that this row or your month is about love. Take it how it resonates. But um, it's about new starts in love. New starts in relationships, all right? New starts maybe with a relationship with yourself, with someone romantically, with friendships, with your family, or, or something about um, work something that would really fulfill you when it comes to work all right so this is new starts new beginnings you are taking a leap of faith with regard to something all right this is you starting anew all right what is the challenge for october the challenge for october is the two of swords so i do feel that there is indecision whether or not you want this new start or you still want to be uh, you, you don't want to go with the things that were familiar to you. Uh, that Actually, that is a challenge always when it comes to um, new starts, all right? It's about letting go, whether you want to let go of what was familiar to you, all right? What was comfortable for you. So there's a lot of anxiety when it comes to this new start, whether or not you want to take, take it on, all right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, you have the Three of Cups as the advice of Spirit. So this, this indicates that Spirit is telling you that you have people 
supporting you you have a lot of support you have a lot of love and support coming from your soul tribe all right can be your family can be your friends can be your you know your constants all right um you have a lot of support with you it's a time for celebration actually it's a time for celebration whatever it is that you're really going to take risk on you're gonna leap take a leap forward on this is something that is worth celebrating all right um what is the overall outcome the ace of cups definitely something divinely gifted for you Dif divine gifts of love this is like a jackpot for some reason a jackpot when it comes to love something that's emotionally stable something that is some something that is something that is some something that is divinely guided divinely gifted for you spirit has heard of what you want spirit has heard that this is the kind of love that you want because strongly i feel a October is about love so yeah this is the kind of love that you want so spirit is actually giving it to you the universe has heard you the universe has um, is sending it to you all right it's nice so in November what is coming towards you is the page of Pentacles all right definitely new starts again something new I do feel that maybe this is a new job or new it's about finances something that you have been working on and it's now finally paying off this is very new so that's why I said it's maybe a new job or like a new source of income that's coming in all right that's actually nice your challenge is the devil you're kind of stuck on something stuck on probably your lifestyle that you have to change because actually this is um this is finances and you work coming in but i feel that it's going to be um it's not really big it's not a big um big source of income because it's actually very new so i do feel that you are actually stuck with some sort of lifestyle that you are used to and i do feel that for you to expand which is the advice from spirit for you to expand is to really let go of the things that are no longer serving you are keeping you stagnant there's definitely definitely advice of spirit um enlightenment uh, abundance expansion you have to look at the brighter side of things all right um yeah very nice very very nice all right um you have to let go of things that are keeping you stuck all right if you could see the illustration here the girl is looks very much free free yourself from things that are no longer serving you keeping you stuck all right temptations things that aren't really good for you okay um the overall outcome of your month or of this row is the queen of swords i feel that there will be a lot of clarity when it comes to what's keeping you stuck what is going to make you happy your your movement forward how are you going to make your money grow there is going to be clarity certainly all right you're going to take out the bullshit the bs out of your life you're going to move forward from what is keeping you stuck you're gonna you're going to cut it out of your life okay that's actually really good um okay for december for december i i feel that there are things that are going to be illuminated when it comes to your relationship secrets are going to be, reve be revealed all right there are a lot of fears that are going to come out and your shadow side or your the person you are dealing with their shadow self their dark sides or your dark sides those are all going to be illuminated during this time of month all right um the challenge is the knight of wands definitely uh very much the energy here is player energy i feel that yeah there's player energy that is your challenge for this month 
this could be you or the person you are dealing with take it how it resonates aries um i feel that hmm, you're dealing with someone who's in and out of your life someone who is you know very transient um is there when things are good and just leaves suddenly when things are going bad you know but brings a lot of an excitement i'm feeling that you are stuck on this person because or your this person is stuck on you take it how it resonates because there is a lot of excitement that this person brings that this knight of wands bring all right male female not really gender specific take it how it resonates um the solution of spirit the advice of spirit is to learn to let go learn to let go and um, embrace new beginnings learn to let go of endings learn to accept endings i mean accepting of endings all right the uh, the overall sorry the overall energy of your month for december is the two of pentacles i do feel that there is the decision that has to be made there is a decision <clears throat> sorry a decision that you are trying to weigh on all right um whether or not you want to let go of this person you want to keep this person with you you want to work this out with your person that is totally up to you all right let's see what your angels have to tell you the advice from your angels advice from your angels additional advice please ah okay so you have perfect timing so whatever it is on your mind it's all about perfect timing perfect timing is the universe's timing remember that the perfect timing is all about the universe's timing let's give you a spirit animal card Oh. all right let's take that you have scarab beetle spirit magic words magic works through you that's nice actually you saw me shuffle this card all right you have the magician here and you have the scarab beetle spirit magic works through you all right always remember that aries magic works through you you can manifest anything you want it's number 52 five plus two is seven that is the chariot card or number seven can resonate for you take uh it may be significant for you take it how it resonates all right so that is all i have for you aries i hope something in this reading resonates if it did please give this video a thumbs up if it didn't please check out your other signs it may resonate from there please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so much for all the support I love you. Have a great uh, three months and stay blessed.